so why did I get married young? What are the things that I saw in my husband Derek that made me this girl that wasn't even thinking about marriage just decided to switch off the button of not getting married that time to okay you know what I found him what are the things that I saw hi guys welcome back to my channel if this is your first time my name is precious thank you so much for stopping by and i hope you'll be able to subscribe to my channel and thank you to all my returning subscribers today's video i'm going to be starting a new series and i'm going to be sharing my life story this is a story i have never shared before and it's going to be in series and i'm going to be incorporating it into um, marrying young but today's video is going to be why i got married young so if you don't know, I'm a mom of four and I got married really, really young. Um, I got married just one month before my 21st birthday. I wasn't ready, I wasn't prepared, I wasn't thinking about getting married and all of that kind of thing. But I got married and guess what? 12 years and counting, by the grace of God, we are still here doing what we need to do basically so i'm going to be sharing everything about marrying young i'm going to be sharing talking about on this series the risk the advantage what you need to know what nobody tells you if you have any question as well because it's a series of videos if you have any question any specific question about getting married young you want to ask me i would please ask that you put it on the comment section because um it's a video i'm i'm still making as well so i would be able to answer your question and if along the line i've answered your question Question, they know that I may not be able to make the video. I never ever planned. I wasn't preparing. It wasn't in my head. It wasn't in my. It, there was nothing actually suggesting that I was going to get married early. I wasn't a. I was one of those church girls that all I did at uni was go to school, study, church, home. School, study, church, home. That was just my triangle. I did not have a social life. I wasn't doing all those kind of things. Um, so I've got my daughter just here with me. And so you're going to be hearing background noise from my beautiful daughter Naomi. For me, one of the first things that I saw in Derek was um, he was a child of God. He was a Christian. Christianity for me, I was born. In fact, I was born inside of the church. I was born in the church and brought up in the church. So everything about me is all about Christianity and all of that. And by the grace of God, I've been able to practice Christianity the way I know God, not out of religion and all and and um, every other thing that people will say about Christianity. I've been learning, trying to know God for myself as well. So. Christianity is a big thing for me. So I wanted to get married to someone who was a Christian. Derek was a Christian at, at that time and he's still a Christian. So Derek is someone who is from a deeper life background. I personally, I go to Assemblies of God. So deeper life Assemblies of God. There was no much difference in terms of the outlook of the way they do things. But deeper life was a little bit more strict. The thing I liked about Derek was that there are the things that I didn't like about deeper life um, at that time he wasn't too keen like you don't have to have TV you don't have to you know those kind of things and um, he wasn't too keen he was a deeper life person that um, knew the Word of God for himself and all and and that one of the things I liked about him was the fact that he just did not go to deeper life because let's say deeper life was the church that his family went to he loved the deeper life he did not agree with everything that they did at that time and he was clear about the things that he did not agree on especially things that were not really backed up by the bible or by the word of god at that time so he wasn't part of it and that was one thing i saw that i felt like if this guy would be able to differentiate what god says and what religion says then that's it for me so he was a child of God. He had the attitude of a child of God. He had that aura of a child of God. He knows the Bible. Sometimes when I, even up to now at home, that's one of the things that I still fancy about him. Whenever I, I read a scripture that I don't understand, Derek has a way of explaining that scripture to me. He might even bring it out from the Bible and use mass and physics to explain it to me. How he does it, I don't know so he 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 it's something that makes me i'm just i just love the guy i just love him because he does things in a weird way that that basically 
um, makes me happy that I love so so much so first thing first he was a child of God and another thing Derek had that I loved about him was he had that leadership attitude he, leadership skill I'm a very strong lady in terms of I'm very opinionated I can tell you my view I'm very str strong if you're closer to me you know that I speak <laughs> that's who I am basically that's a kind, my kind of temperament as well I needed a man who would be able to you know what I mean a, a man who would be able to control me when I mean control me not not the people are thinking about but people who understand what I'm saying about would be able to understand someone who would be able to tell me to my face precious you're wrong without being scared someone who is able to lead the family I, I for one wasn't ready to get married and the man will be telling me so what are we going to do with the children today no 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 for me to get married to you, you have to have a plan you have to have it you have to have things in place so as I when I met Derek he was he had that skill i saw it from from far that he had it and that was one thing i fancied about him so another thing for me was that he was independent when i mean independent was at the time when i met him so if you don't know the story of how i met Derek, and you want to go on the video we did get to know or meet my husband i think we shared a little bit about how we met each other and um yeah i'm going to link the video as well so you can um watch and know how we met each other so when i met derek derek was a ready man basically ready he was just waiting for a woman to complete his life he was independent he was living by himself he was living in his own uh, accommodation he had the I think, at least the basic things that every man needs well not needs to have but should have and um, to start a life i knew that he would be able to look after me i knew that um at the beginning of our life we would not struggle financially because for me i was still in the university like i as at when I even met when I even met Derek, I was about to start my university. We got married while I was in in uni as well. So um, he was independent. He 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 was ready. He had his own accommodation. Um, I'm not saying that I would not marry a man who has his own accommodation, but in the family um, compound, I am not one of those people. Everybody's different. Everybody know what they want. For me is the personality that really matters for me so he was independent so that was one of the things that i saw that i said if this guy is independent yeah why not um so i decided that that was the reason i one of the things i saw that made me go ahead another thing as well that i that made me go ahead or made me get married to my husband or made me accept proposal while i was not even <laughs> ready to get married was the fact that i saw how much he loved his family he loved his family so much like derek i've not met I, i've not unfortunately derek's mom passed away before i got married to him um I've not met Derek's mom, I haven't met Derek's family as at that time, but I knew a lot about his family. Like, I knew a lot about his family. For me, right, there are some things that you see in a man that you will just know that this man is going to transfer to his family. The way he loved his family, the way they are close, their unit. I think for me, that was one of the things that really attracted me because I'm from a family that we are so close, we are so united, and we so love one another. And seeing a man that has similar thing in his family just just attracted me so much. A man who loves his family is going to love his children. You see, his children is not going to love. You see, his wife is not going to love and all of that thing. So I just, it was a very beautiful thing for me to see that just ticked my box even if i didn't have any box at that time but i saw it i knew that this is something very good that a man should have and it made me fall in love basically so another thing as well that made me decide to think about getting married was the fact that i observed that in my own family people get married young and um, this is something that if you're someone who know me this is an assignment go close look into my family you will see that every single one in my family literally got married young my mom um got married really really young and honestly my mother is an amazing woman and i so thank god for the mother that i have and i pray that i will be able to look after my children and i'll be able to do um even more than she did for or for us my mother was one of those women that they say person i reach ground like she 
could tell she could see things from afar she prays a lot she's a prayerful woman she's 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 someone who who is rounded basically i don't know how she knew for some reason she just knew that we were going to get married early i don't know how i can't tell but one of the things that my mom did was that every time um, i came back from school my mom would ask me how far nay how far any bros anything i sat as early as I, I was that time, my mother, my mother kept asking me every time. So even when I met Derek, my mother knew. So when I met Derek, my mom was one of the first that knew that I had, I'm seeing somebody or I know somebody that is a guy and all of that thing. So she knew and she, she was always asking me how far this person, how far this person. And let me tell you something weirdly, when Derek, because shortly after I met Derek, he moved back to the UK. I, I got admission to study um, my mom asked me did you have you told that your friend that you've gotten admission and I'm like what is this woman's problem leave me alone she will ask me oh have you told him that this have you, she kept telling me to tell Derek something and I'm like but I didn't know that this woman was literally building like building the foundation for a lot of things so when the proposal came my mother did not even my mother already knew Derek even before everybody. So when my father was like, How did you know? How did you know the guy that's not even in the U in Nigeria? My mother already knew because we had that relationship. So another thing as well that I really um the, uh, made that made me decide to go ahead to marry Derek, my husband, was the fact that based on our conversation, based on the things that I saw, I knew that getting married young, I wouldn't miss out on a lot of things. Because guys, I got married in my 20s my early 20s and um it was the time that a lot of girls were doing things having fun and all of that thing and um of course i want to have fun as well of course i want to do all the things people call fun but when i looked at derek i the conversation we had when we we, we were talking i knew that he was career driven i knew that um, me getting married to him I, i'm going to have fun my career is going to be secured derek loved life he was a christian don't forget i said he was a deeper lifer but he loved life he loved good things i could see the the few times i went to visit him or the few times i went to see him i looked at his house i'm like are you sure you go to a deeper life this is this doesn't look like a deeper life uh, family and all of that or a deeper life house um, the things he buys the way he dresses his quality of stuff i just knew that i, I think i'm in safe hands here I think I'm in safe hands based on my knowledge and obviously my, my big brothers they vetted him, they did some kind of diggings. It was after we got married that my elder brother, my little elder brother actually told me that uh, he went to his family, he did a lot of investigation. As young as I was as well, I also noticed that as young as I was, I was very mature. I was actually very mature in my conversations. I was very mature. I, I, I had those kind of conversations and Derek was open because at that point he was ready to get married. So he wasn't beating around the bush. And that's one thing that you, well, you would know when you meet a guy that really wants to settle down. He's not going to be telling you, okay, come today, come tomorrow. They are straight. I mean, I, I, Derek, when Derek told me that he was going to get married to me, it was the end of September, right? End of, I think it's end of October, beginning of September, if I can remember. We planned our, our wedding within September, October, three months. Within three months, we got married. What are you waiting for? You've seen somebody you like. You know, you know the person. What are you waiting for? Because I don't want to get married to somebody that my career is going to be over, my my uh, my my studying. Oh, by the time I get pregnant, oh my God, my studying is going to be over. I'm going to drop out of school and all of those kind of things. Let me tell you, my best years at uni was when, after I got married, People will say, oh, how a girl married and, and their, their, their grades dropped. No. When I got married to Derek, that was, that was those two years I got married, I was, in, I was still at uni. That was when I got my best grades. Because Derek was helping me, coaching me. In, he's a lecturer. He knows the way they do their own thing. So he was t telling me how to prepare for my exam, encouraging me, pushing me, teaching me, and all the things I needed to know. He was helping me. And I tell you what, I was even, my final year exams, I was pregnant. I was, I was pregnant. And that was the best, the year I got my best results. So what am I trying to say? It's, it can be a, 
which I'm going to be talking about the risk as well of getting married young. But I'm, I've been so lucky that I, I did not miss out. I'm a graduate by God's grace. Things are happening that I'm going to be making videos as well. My, in terms of my career, I'm, I'm a biomedical scientist. I am practicing. I am doing well. So God has been faithful. By the grace of God, I did not miss out on anything because I feel like I saw it. I knew I wasn't going to miss out on anything based on the things that I saw prior to getting um, married to him. And um, by the grace of God, it wasn't lies. They were all true. And here I am today telling you that I did not miss out on anything that I would have missed out in my 20s if I had not gotten married. Another thing as well that made me marry my husband was that he was from my tribe. So he's Ikwere. If you don't know I'm from Ikwere, Ikwere is a tribe in River State, Port Harcourt, And I am Ikwere as well. One of the things that my dad always says to us, uh, my dad is that kind of person that he doesn't pick and choose for us when we get married. But one of the things my father said to me, my father said, find an Ikwere man and marry. Like, weirdly weirdly he said that so when Derek came and proposed to me and told me he wanted to marry me that that statement my father made just came back it was more like maybe god just used him to talk and guess what let's not pretend let's not um start pretending to say oh you can marry anybody from your tribe a different tribe it's absolutely good but it's a bonus when you marry somebody from your tribe it, it gladdens my heart when I go to visit some of my friends that are from the Yoruba, the way they speak, they speak Yoruba to their husband, they, some of them don't even speak English at all, they just speak their dialect, right? So if you marry someone from your tribe, the person understands you, you understand the person, a lot of things just move freely, like there's no cultural clash, there's no surprises in terms of, oh in my culture we don't do this well, in my culture we do this way. We understand a lot of, we understand a lot of things because of that similarity in our culture. So I married him because he's from my tribe. Is that selfish? That's fine. I accept it. <laughs> Another thing as well that made me decide that I should go ahead with this marriage and all of that that made me marry my husband is an uncommon reason um, I, I, I've been talking about is the fact that I wasn't ready. God in heaven knows that I was not ready to get married. I, was, I wasn't ready. I was still in school. I was still at the university to get my uh, uh, study and at that point I was so into my academics I was just like you know that kind of thing you go to the night you go in the night to go and read come back in the morning I was into my reading my TDBs and all of that and um, uh, um, when Derek came one of the attitudes that I had and I still have is that I am very teachable I love to learn I enjoy learning I, I unless that thing I don't want to learn it and you cannot force me to do it but because I'm that kind of person that I enjoy to learn I was very teachable I was eager to learn and all of that kind of thing I decided to get married because I was ready to learn if you're not ready to learn please don't get married if you're young you're young and you're thinking about getting married or you found someone that wants to get married to you but you don't have the attitude you don't feel like learning you're not ready to learn don't bother I was very very ready to learn I was eager to learn and apart from the fact that I was ready to learn right Derek knew that I was ready to learn he was ready to teach me as well it's one thing for you to be ready to learn it's one thing for your husband to be ready to teach you and it's another thing for him to be patient with you I was ready to learn he was ready to teach me and he was patient with me through the process of learning now this is very very important when it comes to getting married young because a lot of us that get especially when you're getting married to someone who is a lot more experienced than you someone who is older than you so you're not on the same level you're not on the same plane in everything but the person is ready to teach you i think that's why one of the reasons that i've made our marriage to be this successful by the grace of god this has is, is is actually a big thing it's actually a very very important point so guys these are the these are the uncommon reasons or these are the reasons i decided to get married this these are the major reasons that i decided to get married to my husband Derek. when i met Derek, i met him as someone you know what this guy is quite good um, he's going to help me in my career as well because I was very career driven as well So I think oh, you know what this guy 
I will keep him as my mentor. Let him be mentoring me in my career. Let him be that big brother that is going to be looking after me in terms of my career and all of that kind of thing. That was my plan. That was my thoughts. That was what I had in mind from day one when I met him. And that was even the reason I, after we lost contact and, um, and when I met, contacted him again, that it was just all because of career and all of that thing. There was nothing romantic. There was nothing friend. There was nothing, nothing like that. But God did it in such a that at the end of the day he wanted to get married and he came and he asked me to go married have you enjoyed this video did you learn something from it? Is it do you <laughs> have you enjoyed every part of it if you did please press the subscribe button give it a thumbs up it will do me so much good if you give me a thumbs up on this video and expect more on this series of getting married young i'm going to be sharing my story as well alongside the whole of the the series and i'm going to be making more video insightful video educational video if there's any question like i said you have for me in terms of getting married young please i would like you to put it on the comment section for now naomi wants me thank you so much for watching be grateful be positive and be yourself see you on my next video bye for now